we can uh, start with the lecture today i am going to take the lecture on covid 19 you know this is a pandemic which is going on around us and this is the biggest thing that we are facing this problem today okay so i will share the screen also before that you know that this covid 19 or corona virus 19 it is an event most people were unprepared for this and the institutions across different sectors were also having not any different situation they were also unprepared initially it seemed as a joke at the first so many of us thought that we will very easily get rid of this virus in no time because we are used to bouncing back from difficulties yeah however the government started putting measures in places as the cases have started increasing slowly and steadily it was then been realized that corona virus is not a joke and we have to face to win the situation so the media swung in action almost immediately creating awareness about safety protocols to combat this corona virus okay. so this covid 19 pandemic has upended lives of children and their families as health systems buckle borders closed and schools and businesses shut up so is it a fact or a fiction first i will share the screen with you I hope the screen is visible to every man. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma What is COVID nineteen? We know that the no corona virus nineteen it is a respiratory illness, and that spreads from person to person. The virus it causes it is a new virus, so named as novel corona virus. now is it a fact or a fiction how much do there is a question in our mind that every day new cases are increasing we are coming across new knowledges new things about this corona virus so there is a big question in the mind how much do you know about the covid 19 from where it has originated this corona virus belongs to a family of viruses called as corona virus which is said to have first originated in china's wuhan and then on 11th march it was declared as a pandemic by who world health organization pandemic is a worldwide disease it has spread across many countries killing thousands of people the ministry of health and family welfare has said that it has started from the animal source but later it was seen that it spreads from human to human contact wh uh, who says that it is caused due to the outbreak of severe acute respiratory syndrome in 2003 the sars virus was also there and the corona virus and the sars virus both are genetically related to each other but the diseases they cause are though they are genetically related to one another they are quite different from one another sars was more deadly than corona virus but it was less compare uh, it was less infectious as compared to covid 19 okay and that is why there were no outbreak of sars anywhere in the world but covid 19 though it is not more deadly but it is more infectious and that is why it has created the pandemic children as the corona virus spread so is its misinformation so it's a high time now to know the facts is the key to being properly prepared we should be properly prepared for protecting ourselves and our loved ones also against this virus as this corona virus has spread so It is fueling the discrimination and stigma. UNICEF is working with health experts 
Why? To promote the facts over fear. Facts over misconceptions. Bringing trustworthy tips and guidance to parents, caregivers, and educators. So what are the causes? We should know what are the causes of this COVID-19. The main thing through which it spreads is the mucus or droplets of an infected patient. So this virus is mainly spreading through the mucus. It is a droplet infection. It is not airborne infection or waterborne infection. It is spreading through the mucus or droplets. Now, how this come out when a infected person sneezes, cups, and does not cover his mouth? Often, the virus can also spread easily with the hands of an infected person. If he sneezes on the hand and touches various objects, the virus settles down on various surfaces. And if that are touched by the healthy person and is touching the mouth or nose and when it enters the body, so the droplets of saliva are discharged from the nose from an infected person. So this novel coronavirus is prevents its transmission. We have studied about the incubation period. Every pathogen, every uh, disease-causing organism takes some time to show the symptom. The time from the entry of that pathogen into the body till it shows the first symptom is called as an incubation period that is after the transmission and transmission of covid-19 virus called novel coronavirus is via respiratory droplets and it is about 2 to 14 days to show the first symptom so how does this virus spread as i said it spreads from person to person via respiratory droplets okay and the incubation period is 2 to 14 days what are the major symptoms of this virus? That is fever, cough, tiredness, shortness of breath, muscle aches, chills, sore throat, running nose, headache, chest pain are some of the symptoms of this virus. Now, children, as we say that during a global, this global pandemic, one of the most easiest and most important way is to prevent the spread of virus so children instead of now talking on the history yes we should of course know that where it has originated how it is spreading what are the symptoms we should have the knowledge of this but right now it is high time to know about the preventive measures and to prevent ourselves and our loved ones from this virus and the most easiest and the cheapest way is to wash the hands every one of us know that washing the hands is very very important but today i am going to stress more on the preventive measures and more on how to wash the hands when to wash the hands why to wash the hands this is the best preventive measure to break the chain of transmission of this coronavirus from one person to the another person. So here are certain things which I'm going to show that when, why, where, how to wash the hands. Uh, there are many questions which are still unanswered or there are many questions we should know the answers in details. How do I wash my hands properly? Children, the virus, it comes on, you know that the our hands, they touch so many surfaces during the whole daily course, right? So how to eliminate these traces of this viruses from the hands? Not just holding the hands below the running tap water, quickly uh, scrub and rinse it. That is not the correct way to wash the hands. Hand washing is the cheapest and the most important thing to prevent ourselves, but it should be more effective. So these are some steps in front of you, like how it should be done. You can do a simple technique. Wet your hands with running water. Apply soap to cover your wet hands. The most important is the third step. Scrub or rub all the surfaces of your hands, including back of the hands, in between the fingers, at the base of the thumb, under the nails. It should be at least for 20 to 30 seconds. Now, till that time, what you will do? Simply, you can sing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Or you can sing a birthday song twice. 
till that time you can wash your hands nicely then rinse thoroughly with running water and the most important is drying the hands because there are more chances from of transmission of this virus from the wet surfaces moist surfaces rather than the dry hand so drying the hands with clean cloth is very very important how long should i wash my hands i already answered this question that it should be near about 20 to 30 seconds till that time nicely sing a song and wash your hands if it is not possible for you you are traveling or you are in such a situation that you cannot wash water is not available um, your hand wash is not available soap is not available what is the alternative for it so you can use a hand sanitizer but it should have near about 60 percent alcohol into it when you take this sanitizer on your hand you should rub it properly on all the surfaces of your hand your wrist back of your hands then at the base of the fingers base of thumb and again you should rub this for 20 seconds to ensure that the complete surface of the hands is covered with the sanitizer that is again a preventive measure now uh, the same thing i have shown in a pictorial form whenever washing your hands always prefer washing rather than using the sanitizers the first thing is you have to remove all the necessary hand accessories whatever you are using wet your hands apply soap and water uh, or hand uh, wash you can use then rub it properly palm to palm wet all the surfaces rub it and then wash it clearly so in this way this is the correct technique to wash your hands it is very quick and simple way to protect you from the germs it hardly takes 20 to 30 seconds so you remember your school days and uh, you recite any rhyme till that time again a question now you come now you all came to know how to wash the hands how long to wash the hands but when should one wash the hands so this is after blowing the nose coughing sneezing whenever you are coughing or sneezing it should be at the bend of your elbows okay there you should sneeze or if you are and the best way is to use a handkerchief or a tissue and immediately after that the tissue should be disposed in a proper way so after using toilet before and after eating after handling any garbage or especially after handling the pets after changing uh, the diapers of the baby helping the children uh, then when you when the dust is visible on your hands so during all this stages you should wash your hands especially during before or after you are carrying a sick person is at your home and you are taking care handling his things after that obviously the hand should be washed properly and as i said that touching the surfaces outside the home especially the money which is transferred from one person to the other person and we never know how the people use it okay so after all these things one should wash the hands thoroughly then again a question is always asked whether we should use warm water to wash the hand no doesn't matter water it may be of any temperature it may be lukewarm it may be warm it may be hot or it may be cold washing the hands properly is important rather than what is the temperature of the water because all kind of water if you use properly with soap is going effectively going to kill the germs and the viruses do i need to dry yes of course because germs spread more easily from the wet skin rather than the dry skin so drying the hands completely after washing is very very important and disposing the tissues or the paper napkins after the use in a proper way disposal in a proper way is again very important now again a question washing hands or using sanitizers both are e both are easy both are effective and both are practiced regularly but always prefer when and where it is possible to wash the hands with soap and water please do that if not possible then use hand sanitizers and that also in a proper way so i have already told you the way to wash the hands and the way to use the sanitizer how else can i stop to spread the coronavirus apart from washing the hands what are the things the first thing practice physical distancing at least six feet away from one another 
the first thing is stay at home only if necessary then only you should go to the public places and they are maintaining the physical distancing social distancing is very very important then your rooms should be well ventilated keep your windows open so that the fresh air is coming avoid shaking hands with others hugging the people or sharing the food utensils or any other things with each other this is to prevent ourselves to protect ourselves and even our family members whenever you want to go out for any essential region uh, reason please wear a mask okay and maintain distance if you are unwell if you are having any symptoms of cough cold or if you are suffering from any ailment please stay at home if you feel like you need the medical help then you can visit the doctor use proper sneezing and coughing etiquettes cover your mouth and nose with the flexed elbow or a tissue or a hanky but if you are using this proper disposal is important washing of the clothes when you come from outside is very important taking balanced diet is very important your food should include all the necessary nutrients more protein rich diet should be taken proper balanced diet eating of the fruits green vegetables but yes of course the vegetables and fruits which you are bringing should be washed thoroughly first and then only it should be consumed avoid touching your face continuously your mouth nose and eyes especially because that is the way from where the virus may enter into the body so avoid all the signs so here is just the gist of what are the do's and don'ts what should we do practice frequent washing of the hands see the doctor if any symptoms like fever difficulty in breathing cough cold is there using the mask when you go outside covering the nose and mouth when coughing or sneezing if you see any symptoms you can call the helplines or the medical practitioner avoid participating in large social gatherings and what should not what we should not do what are the do's do not have close contact with anyone do not shake the hands say namaste okay don't touch your eyes nose and mouth frequently do not spit in public so protect yourself protect others also by keeping the hygiene personal hygiene also and the social hygiene also so it is always better to stay at home okay? if any symptoms are seen then stay at home avoid this three c's it is very very important that staying in a closed spaces which is poorly ventilated avoid this avoid the second c that is the crowded people crowded places with many people around and third important c close contact with any person when you are conversing with the other person that time also one should completely compulsorily wear the mask so these threes are very important in the life so children stay safe and stay at home if it is possible stay at home only avoid going outside so be safe yourself also and your loved one your family members also so what is the gist of all this how to prevent ourselves from this covid 19 and how to live a healthy life wear a mask clean hands frequently ventilate the rooms keep 1 meter distance avoid crowded places eat alone do not share the food and other belongings even with your loved ones also care for health condition please take care of yourself by eating the balanced diet drinking plenty of water eating lot of fruits and vegetables and if any symptom is there please report to the medical practitioners on time so stay safe and stay healthy thank you